Problem 11. Determine how many two-digit numbers satisfy the following property. When the number is added to the number obtained by reversing its digit, the sum is 132. Well, how do you have a two-digit number reduced? A two-digit number might be equal to, for example, xy. But remember that these are digits. This digit is worth 10 to the 0, and this digit is worth 10 to the 1. So in other words, this is equal to 10 times x plus y, right? And I'll take 32 as an example. 32 is equal to 30 plus 2, but why is that? That is equal to 3 times 10 to the 1st plus 2 times 10 to the 0. The 10 to the 0 corresponds to the unit's digit value, and the 10 to the 1st corresponds to the 10th the digit value. So that's why we can deconstruct a two-digit number as such. So we're trying to find, determine how many two-digit numbers satisfy the following property. When the number, 10x plus y, is added to the number obtained by reversing its digits, well, reversing its digit will get us yx, and yx will be equal to what? 10y plus x. Um, the sum is 132. So this is, becomes 11x plus 11y is 132. Now 132 is divisible by 11, so x plus y is equal to 12. So we're trying to find how many distinct two-digit numbers. Well, let's start from x is equal to 1. Remember, x can never equal 0. If x is equal to 0, right, we just get this to become y. So that's a one-digit number, and that, be, that won't be right. So if this is 1, this has to be 11, right? y must be 11 then that doesn't make sense because it has to be one-digit numbers. So what can we say? We can go all the way down to, let's say, x is equal to, <clears throat> x is equal to, what, 3, right? Because when x is equal to 2, right, what do we get? We get y is equal to 10. So when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 9. This is our first valid solution. Now, we also have x is equal to 4, y is equal to 8. We also have x is equal to 5. We have y is equal to 7. We have y, x is equal to 6. We have y is equal to 6. But we're trying to find how many two-digit numbers. So we can also have its reciprocal. We have one, two, three, but then we have we can reverse the digits for these three, but we cannot reverse the digit for this one because it's six and six. So we have six plus one to get seven total numbers. So our final answer should be answer choice B.